Now I understand you have like pebbles in your pocket for when you get nervous like, yeah. and you read like really good books to keep you in a good state. I think it's really important that everyone Watching does. Watching you on stage today. You might be able to understand why. That character takes a lot out of you, right? He needs a worry pebble he for does. sure. He does. Um, yes, he's a very complicated sort mm -hmm. of, but also just, I think also we all are, aren't we? Yeah. And um, he feels like he's fallen through the cracks of what the people around him deem as sort of understandable. Um, so yeah, brilliant part, but a brilliant play. And were, all the parts are great. Were you nervous? Because there's so many words, and <laughs> I understand you can't improv at all, so literally, there's not much going on on the stage as well. It's on you for, and there's a lot of solo stuff for you as well. Were you freaking out at all? It takes a while, yes. for sure, but there's like an alchemy that happens with the theatre mm. um, and with the audience in the theatre, yeah. especially with this play. And I think the audience are like the fifth member of the cast. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's, uh, you know, it's amazing to be able to be on stage all the time and you work with the audience. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure they're forgiving if any uh, hiccups arrive, but and no, you, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant yeah. text to learn. Subject matter. It's everything we're talking about. Identity, um, sexuality, people putting us in boxes that we don't want to be in. Um, did you find yourself being quite self-reflective? I know you were already are somebody like me that is in the head a little bit. I think it's been really interesting to explore. It's yeah. been an amazing creative experience mm -hmm. as Marianne Elliott always creates yeah. these amazing rehearsal rooms where there's multiple people who identify in all different ways. Yeah. Um, and so we've all been really honest together throughout this experience and it's, you know, it's our little baby. So we've all been, you know, yeah. what, what we know and what we've explored is our little secret, but we can put it all into the performance. And, and what did it feel like to get shouted out, kissed and pushed around by Taryn? Did, did you, like, at any point did you say, mate, like, cause you guys go back and forth, there's so much I know, emotion. it's wild, isn't How it? Was I that? know, well, I've known Taryn for a long Good. time and we worked together years ago as well. So, you know, it was a perfect match really. And Jay too, I think the chemistry with these things is so important. Yeah, well, Jay's just mega. Yeah. Isn't she. And oh, she's always, I you know, all I know love each other. So, I know, yeah, it is, it is a bit of a love. I have to say to you also, we're getting ready for Bridgerton season two. Everybody's so excited. It's um, I was talking to some of your um, cast members today about the, sorry, don't hate me, the wet shirt scene that's coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah, were yeah. like, oh my God. <laughs> um, are you as excited as the fans? Because everyone's just going nuts. I am really excited. It's yeah. so, you know, something with Netflix, which is amazing, is that it's yeah. such a massive juggernaut. Mm. The, the sort of human experience within that is so, diff like, sort of distant. But um, I've seen it. It's really, really really good okay. and Chris Van Dusen the showrunner is just and what he's done with the original material is just brilliant so I'm really really excited for the fans to watch and, and you're going to be at the show till June so I was saying to your cast get ready it's going to be a mixed bag of fans coming right oh, no. <laughs> yeah we might have to like run around the world sometimes yeah but... and my final thing is this what would you say to people that perhaps haven't experienced theatre for the first time because you are like a really big mainstream household name now because of Bridgerton and Taryn too and I think what's lovely is you guys might actually introduce theatre to a whole new audience. Well, that would be amazing. Yeah, so like, tell them why this experience is so special. Walking in the West End today, seeing all these theatre lines yeah. for me was just lovely. Well, it's extraordinary. There's just, you don't get that electricity, I think. And, mm. and this play, written by Mike Bartlett, is sort of the most sort of front-footed in terms of welcoming the audience yeah. and the audience become the fifth member mm -hmm. of the play so we invite you to come along and to experience it and it's also hilarious yeah you guys are so funny well it's my it's the play <laughs> no it is it's very funny